Okay, we have a problem from Accelerate 2021, problem number seven. We have the sum of one plus four x plus nine x squared plus 16 x cubed plus 25 x to the fourth, on and on to infinity, and this whole thing equals 12, and we just need to find a value for x. Okay, this was pretty interesting, just because at first when I looked at it, I'm like, how can this whole thing be 12 if we're going to infinity? It seems like it's gonna diverge or something. Well, the first thing I thought about was this is very similar to a geometric series. If we forget about the coefficients for a second, it's just like our ratio, we're multiplying by x to go between each term. But it's actually not consistent because to go from one to four x, we're actually multiplying by four x. And then here to go from four x to nine x squared, we're multiplying by what, nine over four x. And then for this one, we're multiplying by 16 over nine x. So the way we have it here is actually not quite a geometric series. Putting this into the sum notation, what I can do is write this as the sum from one to infinity. Notice the coefficients on everything is always gonna be n squared. And then the x term is almost x to the n, but it's actually one less. So you notice what'll work is it'll be x to the n minus one here. So like for example, when n equals two, you get the four and this is becomes just an x. So we have this as a nice compact way to represent this whole thing. And we can notice it is really similar to our geometric series. What we can do is if we differentiate the geometric series, we're going to get something similar. Let's look at our geometric series. So the geometric series formula is going to be n going from 0 to infinity of, of x to the n. And this is going to be just the same thing as 1 over 1 minus x, assuming absolute value of x is less than one, we need this for our convergence. Now, if I take this and just differentiate it, what's gonna happen is we're gonna get the n to pop up. And so it's gonna start looking kind of like this. We're gonna get n times n x to the n minus one. And then just differentiating on the right side as well, this becomes one over one minus x all squared. Initially, we have a minus sign pop up, but with chain rule here, that's gonna cancel and we're just gonna have a plus in front. But then just notice that when n equals zero, the whole thing's zero, so we really don't need that term. So I can just change this to a one without changing the expression. And then one other thing for this x to the n minus one, I can split this out and just change this and write this, and we can write this as a one over x. But this x has no dependency on n in the series, so what we could do is we can just multiply by x on both sides, multiply by an x here. And then this x and this x is just gonna cancel out. But with this here, we still don't have the n squared. But what I can do is we can just do the same thing again, differentiate this, and then this is gonna become n squared. So then the left side's an exact match. I just need to differentiate this using quotient rule. Let's kind of come over here. So for quotient rule, so for quotient rule on this, I'm just gonna use the formula. So for f prime, the numerator, it's just gonna be a one when we differentiate x times the g, one minus x all squared, minus the f value, which is just x, g prime differentiating this it's going to be 2 1 minus x then chain rule the minus is going to come out change this to a plus and then this is going to be all over the denominator squared so it's going to be a 1 minus x all to the fourth but now notice i've got a 1 minus x in every term so i can cancel this one cancel one of these with one of these simplify all this we're going to end up here this is going to be 2x minus x or just x plus this one here over one minus x, all cubed. And so this is gonna be our formula for this sum of n squared x n minus one. And so now we can do is take this and get back to our problem. So what we're saying is we've expressed our whole sum this way, and we're saying this whole thing, we want this whole thing to be equal to 12. But our goal is to solve for x, and it's gonna be easier for me to do algebra if I put it into this form. So we're gonna say x plus one over one minus x, all cubed equals 12. And so in order to solve for x, I just need to do a bunch of algebra. First thing I wanna do is reverse the sign with it with an odd power, a minus sign is gonna pop up. I'm just gonna bring it over here and call this a minus 12. And then kind of just to expand everything out, we'll have x plus one minus 12. I wanna cube this out, it's gonna become x cubed minus three x squared plus three x minus one. We'll distribute the minus 12 in and then also get everything on one side of the equation and rewrite it. Multiply both sides by minus one, just because I feel like reversing the sign, so I don't have a minus 12 in front. 
And then from here, all we need to do is we just have a cubic equation to solve. And if we can solve this for x, then that should give us our solution right here. And so all I need to do is just clean up the board and see if I can solve this for x. Okay, now here, we're just looking for the roots of this polynomial. A couple of things though. The first thing to notice here is just there's gonna be no negative roots. You can mess around with it, but, but you could just notice if x is negative, every term is negative, and so it can never be zero. The other thing we wanna keep in mind is we don't just want any root. We need our x value to be less than one, or we need our absolute value of x to be less than one. So if there's roots outside of this, we don't care about those, we would discard those anyway, because we want the roots that are gonna make this work and end up at 12. So from here, what I wanna do is just basically guess and check using the rational root theorem. For that, you just take the first coefficient and the last coefficient, and we wanna turn this into a fraction of divisors of 11 over divisors of 12. And the nice thing about this is 11's prime. So this top number in the fraction can only be one or 11, we've already eliminated the minus one and the minus 11. So we really only have two options for the numerator. And for the denominator, this can be one, two, three, four, six, or 12. So notice there's still quite a few options, even though the one over one, that's just one and that's not gonna work. It's not gonna meet this criteria. If you plug one in, that's gonna diverge. So trying everything would be a pain, but what I like to do is start with the easy options. So like we could just try one over two, and that's convenient. So if we plug, so if we plug half into this polynomial, we get 12 times one half cubed minus 36 one half squared plus 37. I'll write this as 37 over two minus 11 equal to zero. This first part becomes 12 over eight or three over two minus 36 over four is a minus nine. 37 over two minus 11. 37 over two plus three over two, that's gonna be 40 over two or 20. Minus nine minus 11 is minus 20 and this equals zero. So pretty convenient, our first try works. And so we have a value here of x equal to one half. And so we have a solution on this of one half. How do we know there aren't other solutions, that this is the only solution? Well, there's a couple ways, I'm not gonna show all of it, but one thing is, so if we're saying a half is a root of this, we could then factor it and we could have something like x minus a half times the rest of this polynomial equal to zero. Well, this thing here is gonna be some kind of quadratic, right? I mean, I guess there's gonna be a 12 on this, but it's gonna be basically a quadratic. You could use the quadratic formula, but what you'll find on this other part, this quadratic, is this part has no real solutions. And I think there are other ways, like looking at the graph, you can see there's just one root, one intersection point at zero. But just remembering that we started with a geometric series, other roots aren't gonna really make sense and they're not gonna meet this criteria. If we have anything outside of this, this series here is gonna diverge and not equal 12. Okay, there you have it. Good one from Accelerate 2021. Thanks everyone for watching, have a good day.